you have a hand throttle, a simple hand throttle on this side, push it as far forward as you can. Once you've done your chipping, pull it back towards you, let the engine settle at idle, press the stop switch and then turn off the key. This is the RDS box which is common on the current range of green mech wood chippers. It's the information centre and controls certain functions of the machine. For example, once you have turned on the machine using the ignition key, this is the screen you will see. It's telling you the engine is going through a preheat mode and it's checking through the circuits to make sure that all is functioning correctly. Once the icon drops to the bottom position, as in this screen, the machine is ready to start. So press and hold the start button until the engine has fired, then release the button. If you fail to hold the start button for long enough until the engine catches, you will need to turn off the ignition key and start the process again. Once the engine starts, you will see this screen which is essentially the speed of the rotor. You can select other icons relating to machine data by pressing the button at the far left of the screen. There are six data point icons on the RDS screen, from left to right. First left advises of any engine malfunction, such as low oil pressure. Second reports any malfunction to the chipper system. If you've got four dashes in there, there is nothing wrong with the engine or the wood chipper. Third is the rotor, chipper, flywheel speed. Fourth confirms feed roller rotation and or diagnostics. Fifth is daily operating hours and six is the total machine life operating hours. The buttons at the bottom of the RDS screen are as follows. First left is the icon selector. Second is the main start button, push and hold until the engine fires, then release. Third button is a redundant switch on this model. Fourth is the engine stop button. Fifth on the right is for technical setup access for factory and technical personnel only.